Hello everyone and welcome to EduSurge small talk series. This is the second part of the liver anatomy. I hope you enjoyed the first one where you got the liver anatomy in your hand. Just revise it a few times and I am sure you would memorize it. So now we are going to see the arterial supply of liver. That is the second part. So as we all know abdominal aorta gives the celiac axis and the celiac axis has three branches, the splenic artery, the left gastric artery and the common hepatic artery. Then the common hepatic artery gives rise to right gastric artery, gastroduodenal artery and the point of common hepatic artery beyond gastroduodenal artery is the proper hepatic artery or hepatic artery proper. Then the hepatic artery proper gives rise to the right and the left hepatic artery. So this is how the hepatic arteries arise. Then the intrahepatic course, the left hepatic artery has an horizontal part and a vertical part. And this vertical part then gives medial and lateral branches to segment 2, 3 and 4. So this is how the left hepatic artery behaves. The right hepatic artery gives the posterior branch which is horizontal. So the right posterior pedicle is horizontal in direction and anterior branch which is part of the right anterior pedicle which is vertical in direction. Also the right hepatic artery gives rise to cystic artery and sometimes the middle hepatic artery. As we all know the anterior and posterior branches supply the respective right sided segments. So right anterior branch gives rise to a superior branch which is segment 8 and an inferior branch which is segment 5. And the right posterior artery gives rise to a superior branch which is segment 7 and an inferior branch which is segment 6. So how this correlates with the liver surface is that the bifurcation of proper hepatic artery is at the level of porta hepatis. Now this can be variable but usually porta hepatis will have the right and left hepatic artery branches in the hepatoduodenal ligament going towards the porta hepatis. The right posterior branch is in the ruvier sulcus. So the right posterior pedicle can be identified in the ruvier sulcus and the horizontal part of left hepatic artery is at the inferior level of base of segment 4a. So this is how the liver surface goes across in this arterial tree. So the arterial blood supply of liver is summarized here for your quick revision as well as an image which is reproducible in exam. So I hope you enjoy it. In the next part we will see the venous supply as well as drainage of liver.